Back on TC Live, concern over the safety and whereabouts of Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai continues as this photo has been circulated across social media. The two-time major champion has gone missing since she accused a former high-ranking Chinese government official of sexual assault back on November 2nd. Now, Chinese state media released an email they say was from Peng Shuai, which denies her previous allegations and says she's fine. For more on this story, here's John Wertheim with WTA CEO Steve Simon. Steve, let's begin with a timestamp. It's Friday midday in the U.S. right now. Where, where are we? Is there any news you can give us about Hong Shui's whereabouts or your efforts to get in touch with her directly? Uh, hi, John. Well, uh, no, I don't have a, a lot of new information. Uh, we continue all of our efforts to reach out and hopefully be able to speak with her directly. Uh, but I really don't have any any new information, um, and we're still still trying to to contact her directly. As this has gone from a tennis story to a sports story to really a story of international news of significance. What do you want the public to know? What what are you trying to convey to, to the public and also to your own players? Well, um, I think what what is trying to be conveyed here is that I think we have a have a significant issue. Uh, we have a a woman who has had the courage to step up and reflect some significant allegations of sexual assault and harassment against a, a very high level political official uh, within within China. Um, where we're at right now is that, um, you know, we want to make sure that uh, Peng Shui is first of all safe. Uh, we have received assurances from the Chinese Tennis Association that she is safe and not in harm's way, but we haven't been able to speak with her directly and we haven't been able to reflect to her directly um, our concerns and and be able to reflect all of the support that's available to her um, that we'd like to provide and would. The second side of it is, is that we would like uh, and demand, it's not really a like, um, that a transparent and full um, investigation of, of these allegations is made. Uh, with no uh, censorship associated with this at all. Um, there's many things in the world uh, that we deal with today where decisions are based upon uh, many things and, and influenced by many things that are inclusive of politics, um, business, uh, and directly money. And we all deal with those and, and find solutions um, as we can, and many times they're compromised. When you're dealing with an issue, however, of sexual assault and harassment, I don't believe decisions associated with that could be compromised. And um, as a result of that, um, we're taking obviously a very strong stance that obviously we're concerned with Peng Shui's safety and that um, the full investigation needs to be happen, happen and that this cannot be swept under the rug. You mentioned this demand for a full and fair investigation. This is a, a country that does not uh, traffic in, in transparency, quite the opposite. This is a country that doesn't usually take to demands and requests from the international community. Is, is it realistic? You, you say demand. Is it realistic to think that this will be complied with? Well, we don't know if it will or it will not. Um, obviously, there's a history, as you've reflected, I think that we always have to attempt and try to, to make changes and give people the opportunity to do the right thing. Um, I don't think you have, you can expect for change to happen if you're not willing to put that forth and have hope that it will happen. Um, if it doesn't happen, we'll certainly deal with that appropriately and we're willing to take on those challenges. But um, you can't change things in this world if you're not willing to, uh, you know, push people to make the right decision. And then if they do, uh, support it appropriately, if in fact that should happen. We've seen a number of, of players weigh in on this issue, maybe most notably Naomi Osaka and Serena Williams. What else are you hearing from the membership? I mean, Peng Shui was a colleague to a lot of these players. What else are you hearing from other players? 
I think there's been unanimous support for the direction and, and the approach that's being taken. But more importantly, and I don't want uh, everything that's being discussed here to get lost, is a deep concern about Peng Shui and making sure that she's okay. It's not just she's okay from a physical perspective, which I'm, I'm assuming that she is. I don't have any reason to, to doubt that that's the case. But again, dealing with the emotional concerns that she may be facing for, one, coming forth with those allegations, and as well, if she does have word of, of how big of an issue this is, those are also areas that could certainly be weighing on her as well. So I think the general thing is, uh, is, is a significant level of concern. That's our first and foremost. And it's unanimously felt across our organization through our players, our tournaments, our councils, our board. Um, this is a unanimous front across um, our, our organization. Yesterday, you, you made a very strong statement. You said you are prepared to take your business out of China. I, I would almost flip that on its head. And given the outrage this has provoked, given what you've heard from your players, their concern, I, I want to ask you, can you go back to China? Time will tell. Um, I think that, again, as I said earlier, which I think is important, there are a lot of things we don't agree with that happen in this world. Um, if we are able, and maybe this is one of those instances in which we're able to make somebody do the right thing, then I think if we have any integrity at all, and there was any integrity in the request that we made, if it's done and done to the appropriate satisfactions, then yes, we would continue. And I think you should. Um, you can't make these statements and then take your toys and, and run away and you're not going to play anymore. Um, you know, if it doesn't happen, as I've said, we are prepared to move on and deal with the challenges that will come with that and they will be significant. Um, but um, we are steadfast in, in that approach and I, I don't see that changing. Steve, thanks for, for your time and candor. This obviously is, is an unfolding story and we, we hope to uh, keep checking back in with you as this develops. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone's covering. I appreciate everybody's support and everyone's trying to reach out and find her. And I think, um, you know, hopefully we'll get this to, to a, a good place, but um, uh, we're going to keep working on it for sure. So thank you.